Before I get to our my favorite row, which is the designing row, the purple row, I'd let you, like to show our quilters how easy it is to change from yardage to metric. Remember up here we had five and a quarter yards of our backing fabric? Well, overseas you can't buy it in yardage. We need to buy it in metrics, in meters. So let's just push it and there is our measurement. And now they know to sell 4.775. If they need to know how much fabric they need in centimeters, where sometimes it's in inches, you can enter either a five inch square and find the centimeters, or you can say, I have a 21 centimeter block and I wanna know what that is in inches and it tells me it's eight and a quarter. That easy, that quick. Okay, now let's get into my favorite row. This is the designing row and it works a little bit different than the other two. These rows worked from left to right which the purple does also, except that in these rows, the last key gave your answers. In our this row, whatever we enter in the first key, which is our, si our square size key, will give us finished sizes of squares, half squares and quarter squares, even 45 and 60 degree diamonds. So let's get started. I have two inch squares. So we have entered that in the square size. Now I'm going to ask for so many squares and get the yardage, how many strips to cut and how wide to cut them. Or I can say I have so much yardage and it'll tell me how many squares I can get out of it. That way we can get, utilize our stash. So let's get started. So we need, today we need 56 squares. It says I need a third of a yard. This is estimated to the closest one eighth of a yard. It's telling me to cut four strips, cut them two and a half inches wide, added in that seam allowance, and reminding me I can get 56 out of it. Or I could have said, I have nine inches of fabric. How many squares can I get out of it? By pushing the square key, I can get 48. And again, now I will only be able to cut three strips and cut them two and a half inches wide. If I need to know anything about half square and quarter square, let's try it. I need 56 half square triangles. It's got a picture so you know what you're talking about. It says a quarter of a yard, again estimating to the closest eighth. You cut three strips and cut them two and seven eighths inch. This is allowing for all the seam allowances so that when you cut these apart, sew them back together again, they will sew on to that two inch square and you will have perfect two inch finished squares. We can also ask for quarter square triangles of the same size. Remember, it still thinks everything's at two inches. So now I need 56 quarter square triangles and estimating to the closest eighth, it's a little over so it's going up, two strips and now we need to cut them three and a quarter inches. By doing this, we will get quarter inch squares sewn back together that can be sewn onto the halves, to the, be sewn onto the squares, and they'll all be finished two inch squares. 